Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I want to say thank you, Union Hatching. This has been an amazing week. A lot of fantastic people that I met, and I hope you're going to have great partnerships from here. Um, the other person that was here, he was for the Ministry of Science, Technology, Innovation, and Communication. Unfortunately, he couldn't come. So I'm here representing him to two. Okay? So I'm going to talk a little bit about Startup Brazil and a little about SoftX. That's where I am from. Uh, that's a company that was created by the government. Um, and I want to say thank you to Miriam, thank you to the Ministry of Science, Technology, Innovation, and Communication that we are here. This program is a government program. We are the operational part of the program because the government sometimes cannot do everything. So we do a lot of things for the government. And I'm start talking a little bit about Startup Brazil and SoftX. So what is SoftX? Most people here, even the Brazilians here, don't know what is SoftX. It's interesting. <laughs> I like to say that we are like a multinational corporation, but smaller. But we work the same as a huge corporation. My background is multinational corporation. I used to live in the US, working at 20,000 people company, and this is the same but with a lot less people. So imagine our day-to-day -day work, how it is. And it's amazing, it's an amazing journey, it has been an amazing journey for me as well. So SoftX was created in 1996. We were 21 years old to develop and grow the IT sector in Brazil. We really want to change people's lives. So a lot of the Brazilian companies that are here, a lot of the other companies that are here, we are here to help. Um, I don't know where the person for the Pacific Island. Uh, I really want to work with all the countries. Do not separate us, okay? We really want to work together as partners. <laughs> uh, as, as I think communication is the key to the in partnerships. So to be successful today, we really have to have partnerships. That's how I can see. In everything that I do in my life, partnership is the key to success, okay? Um, I cannot get out of here. Okay. Um, our key mission is Developing growth the IT sector in Brazil, we usually we work with small and medium company. Startups are one of the key success that we have. And I'm going to explain a little about SoftX, but you're going to see how big we are in what we do now. This is a little bit about what we are. We have six areas. One of them is education. Uh, it's one of my projects. It's one of my areas. And we do start doing education with the little ones. When I mean little ones, it's from 16 years old throughout 60 years old. And this is the project called Brazil My Stay. It'll be the same as Brazil IT Plus. What is this? It's an e-learning platform to bring people to technology. Most Brazilians here don't know also this, because you're already in another level. You're now a company. You're no longer a student. So Brazil My Stay has today 300,000 students on it. The whole country and 1,000 outside Brazil. We really want to help people to go to technology to be successful. So they come here, they study programming, they can find a job, they can be mentored to be a company or an employee. So they can be an employer or an employee. And we do a lot of mentoring one-on-one -on -one with the college and university in Brazil with projects. I just have one that I'd like to say to you guys. Um, we just mentoring one since January now. They won an award in MIT and Harvard. And now we are going to a uh, final at Microsoft in Seattle. This was a little project that started very little, 18 and 19 years old. And it really changed since we started working with them in coaching. So that's a little bit what I do with this project. Then has innovation. Innovation has Startup Brazil that I'm going to talk a little bit more. We have IT Impact. So I'm going to try to translate for you guys. Uh, IT Impact is an innovation problem that we have to do with our companies. Small media companies, they don't have the money to have an innovation department inside the company. So we have a training for them. So they will have innovation. They know what is innovation. They change the way they do business. And it's a very successful problem. <coughs> we have also pitch training. A lot of the startup users, I'm pretty sure they didn't know that. So we have a pitch training that's really interesting. Uh, and really, it's more like a pitch for not just Brazil, but everywhere. We do train you guys to go anywhere you want to. Um, go over BI. For all the international companies that are here and also the Brazilian companies, we have a lot of research done and we can do a lot of research with any of you guys. 
So come to us, look at the website. We have amazing things, and almost everything is in English and Spanish. No French, sorry. Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, international. Like I said, I start with a little guy, 16 years old, make them become a company, and then we try to make them go overseas. A lot of training for that as well. We take them to events to uh, try to sell the product, find partners. We just try to make them to succeed. And we have a lot of tools for that. We have uh, developed tools that make them to see if they are good for Latin America, if they are good for Canada, for Asia, for US. Uh, Brazilians, they did think a lot about US, now it's changing a little bit, and now we're going more to Latin America, to be honest. Um, I'm going to talk about one event that I really like from the International Library, that's the Export Day. It's a day like this that we put a lot of companies together and we try to develop them to go to a specific target. We just had one a month ago in Sao Paulo and we have consulted in government from Chile, um, Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, um, there's another one, Argentina. All, almost all the countries fall in Latin America and they were helping the companies to succeed and how it was to do business there, was the legal part to, to be there. The hardest part in Latin America is the legal part. Uh, the network is also important, but the legal, especially in Brazil, is really very more complicated. Investments, we try to find investments for the companies that we work with and also the MPS.br is a quality step for training so the software will be more qualified to be in the market. It's very respectful training, okay? This is a little bit, like I said, this is a, a non-profit organization. Uh, we do have some funds for the government, but it's really interesting how we work like a multinational corporation with a lot less people working there. So I'm gonna go over a little bit what is Startup Brazil, what is this program, and um, what we have done so far. We started working with Startup Brazil in 2014, in July. So we, we were from 2014 to 2016. As you all know, Brazil is going through uh, changes. And good changes, let's think like that. <laughs> so the changes has been slowing down a little bit, a lot of things that we do, but it's coming up. And we are opening application very soon. And I welcome all the companies, Brazilian and non-Brazilian, to apply for. It's a really good investment I'm going to show you to you guys now. And a really way to start business in Brazil. We have the network, we have the accelerators, and we really want you to succeed. This is a little bit about the problem. It's a year program, usually four months to a year. Uh, we have an open um, for accelerators first, uh, we would call for accelerators, then we select them. Then after that we select the startups. It's, two, it's twice a year for these startups. The program is very successful because um, we have just 20% of the companies that did apply the fast agency to see. 80% they do to see in the market, and the growth annually is over 160%, so it's really amazing. From there, they'll go to the acceleration process. It's like a four months to a year. Then they'll have the welcome awards, the first speech that they do. And what is really interesting is the first speech is one, and it goes on, and at the end we have the demo day, the international demo day. It's a completely different pitch, because it really grows so much in, in that year. The demo days we have, we had one in Chile, we are really, really close to Startup Chile, and we had another one in Silicon Valley. Last, in 2016, we took 10 companies to the Silicon Valley for two weeks. Like a training, almost like a million did here, but it was a two-week training, a lot of training with them, with Google and a lot of the companies. And it was amazing to see the, also the result. So what is the problem itself? Who is involved in this problem? So we have the government of Brazil, Ministry of Science, Technology, Innovation, and Communication. We have CNPQ. CNPQ is a research organization, and also they have scholarships for Brazilians going overseas all in Brazil. So they have like the institutions with them. We have Apex Brazil. This is an uh, agency to export. So they do export servers and products going outside Brazil. And we have Softex. So you have companies, the industries, uh, IT sector, uh, institutions, like schools, and Apex Brazil. And they are salary. So if you come to work with us, we really can help you. Even though you don't have an open yet application, it can still help you. 
So how it works. Usually, that was the software. Uh, we had 200 of the senior highs from the government, and the salary we matched that with more 200, 200,000, sorry, more 200,000 from the SLU. So it's almost half of Brazilian hands. I know it's not a lot for Canadian money, but it's not a lot for Brazilian money. It's a really good start for the company. They will participate in all the events that I told you. Also, they have a hubs that we have. We have three hubs now, uh, New York, Connecticut, and um, um, Asia. I really hope to open something here in Canada as well. So they have all the the structure for them, and also the visa. If you're from Mexico, if you're from Chile, if you're from Asia, you can come and we provide the visa as well. This is a little bit of what we had, so 100 shut-ups per year, uh, 12 months isolation process, and they will have everything. The coaching, they will have also space, they will have the commercial side of the business, how you can sell it in Brazil. I know it's harder if you speak the language, I always have to give the example of the company from Switzerland. They didn't speak Portuguese. They didn't speak English. It was really interesting. So at, by the end, they were speaking Portuguese uh, and also English because everybody did speak English as well. So it's just a way for you to learn a new language, new culture, go to a crazy country, but it's also amazing at the same time, okay? <laughs> this is what I have, a summary of the two years that we have the problem. We have four groups, two each year. Uh, almost 3,000 applications, a lot of applications. And for those, we select 183. Those 183, like I said, 80% succeed. So it's a great succeed rate. Uh, and 21 were international. It's really amazing. So I'm going to show you now the international. And I really want a Canadian company this year, okay? So you're going to see Germany, Argentina, Colombia, Chile. You're going to see a lot of Latin America that's closer. It's easier for, for everybody to come. Um, but you can see Switzerland, U.S., so a lot of the U.S. companies go away and we have the opening. So I want to see really a Canadian company, and in 17 states. So it's really nice because you can come, and um, you can go to also to different states in Brazil because the accelerators are in different states. And it's not just the money. I think it's what if you can win more is the network, uh, getting to know another culture, and also the experience of the welcome on board, the demo days. Uh, the chili was amazing, and the Silicon Valley was also fantastic. This is, like I said, the accelerators. Imagine if you are a company here in, let's see, Ottawa. In Ottawa, and you get acceleration in Recife. Recife is not East Brazil, very, very, very hot. But beautiful beaches, amazing people, so it'd be a really unique experience. Uh, you're going to change your mind and you're going to develop your product differently because the, the place is different than you're used to. And the results. Um, we had over a hundred million of uh, dollars, US dollars, incentive for the government and the private sector incentive three times more. So it's a lot of money and really the amazing success that we had, we just want to replicate. And the other thing is the product validation that I think is really interesting to show you guys. Um, so if you have a accelerator, you have a better resource for sure than without. That's something that everybody knows, but it's really nice to see. And this is some of our success. We have so many, like I said, 183 companies, a lot of companies. But this is a bike, um, very light bike. I, I try it, so much fun to try it. Uh, and they were just a research project and they become a company after I shot up herself, so. This is another company. This, this company has been also international now. They are all over the world. Um, they are not in Canada. I um, also forget to say, they really want to come to Canada. If I have investors here, they want to sponsor them. They really want to come to Canada as well. But this is a, a digital published company. They, they do a lot of things uh, for kids in schools. And they develop um, what you need. Like if you need something specifically, or if you have uh, a demand that's different, they will develop for you. They have grown so much. And this is their number, so you have an idea. This is one that um, is on my heart, not because the other one or not, but uh, it, it makes you really want to get married again. Me, because I'm like getting married. So uh, I'm divorced, so as I met them, I really want to. Oh, this is so exciting. So, uh, it's not a Brazil, really changed the way they do business, make them now the first play in Brazil. And you can go 
there, if you any one of these ones to get out, you really can clean your hallway with lighting. So it's really amazing. Um, and these are the numbers. I think that's amazing to see three million guests that they have done new weddings. It's a lot. Um, I'm really excited to say they were accelerating Vancouver this year. They're coming back and next year they're going to be established in Canada, this company. Max, this is like Max Mileage. Um, it's a company that you can exchange mileage online or you can buy mileage online. We do have several things like that in, in United Airlines, American Airlines, but this is a lot different, it's a lot cheaper. They're very successful, I'll show you the numbers uh, in a little bit, but you can buy a ticket for 80% less the price. So it's like a marketplace to exchange mileage. So imagine um, 3 billion mileage negotiable, it's a lot. So, and this is the company, they really grow a lot. It's one of the biggest success of any number of employees. And why so fast? Why I'm here talking to you? Mark, once more, thank you, Minion, for inviting me. Um, amazing experience, but it really, for me as Anna, uh, for me that has been living, living in West for a long time, uh, and back to Brazil now, it's like I'm born again in Brazil. Um, I really want to bring diversity to Brazil, uh, bring different cultures to Brazil. Um, more than welcome, all the Latin America, more than welcome, all the Canadians, any country that wants to go. Diversity for me is the success of any country. New cultures, new way to, to think, so you're going to think different, differently and you're going to do it differently. So, uh, you can bring your companies to soft tax, you can be your safety harbor to start in Brazil. We can help you with all the legal stuff, commercial, marketing. My expertise is marketing, international business. So, soft tax today is really this it's a lot of people that really want to change the world, make Brazil a better place, but not just Brazil, make people's lives better. So um, the exchange of startups between Canada and Brazil, and not just Canada and Brazil. Um, and also, like I said, bring diversity to our country. Um, and really, we can offer you a background of very diverse people and very unique people, really people that want to make a difference and change people's lives. So I'm going to finish with a word that for me is very important, is inspiration. So try to inspire people every day, your family, where you work, um, every day. A good morning, a good afternoon, I thank you always help in everything that you do in life and help each other. Uh, I think that's for me the key of success is helping and like I said, partnership, partnership and communication. Thank you very much.